everybody. This is Karina Christensen with the Denver Lux team here in Denver, Colorado. And here's my business partner, Lisa Grant. Hi, everybody. Lisa is not only a partner on my team, but Lisa is also our staging expert. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about why do we stage our properties and what's the benefit to our sellers? Sure, yeah, it's a huge benefit actually because we like sellers to feel like, well, we always are working hard for our sellers to make sure that we're going to maximize their, um, their asset. And the reason we want to stage a home is we want to draw as many buyers as we can to that property. And the first way is really the photos that are on the MLS. Everybody these days are looking online, whether it's through Zillow or the MLS or any other um, platform online. And we need to snag their attention. And the best way to do that is to have beautiful staging. Yeah. And you know, it's funny. We just had an experience, right? A couple yes. of weeks ago <laughs> where we had a... A large fixer upper in a single family home in a very desirable neighborhood here in Denver. And I knew it was a fixer upper, and, I, and so I thought there's no reason to spend money on staging because people are gonna wanna fix it up and I don't wanna hide anything. And you said, oh no, 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 <laughs> let's stage it, right? And, yeah. and what was it that made you say that? So, uh, probably partially, I grew up in New England in a very old home around old properties and I just love the warmth of Victorian homes. So um, w the second I walked in there and saw those beautiful hardwood floors throughout the entire home, they were in a perfect condition. I just really felt like, you know, even though the yard needs work, this house is so charming, you know, and, and we did, we staged it and oh my gosh, we got so many offers and uh, were able to present the seller with very high offers, very strong offers, yes. not just strong financially, but the terms are amazing. And way above asking. Yes. Which I, perfectly honest, I, you know, I was a little critical, so I, I wasn't quite so hopeful, but it was really another one of those classic examples. I broke my own rule on that one, which was never show an empty property, and Lisa saved me from myself. <laughs> Lisa, we're sitting on the other end of the uh, spectrum today. We're in the Four Seasons in Denver, which is the Four Seasons residences that sit above the Four Seasons Hotel. And we are getting ready to list this home. You also came in here and staged it. It was vacant. And what were some of the things that you thought about as you brought your staging furniture in here? And what did you want to highlight in this already fabulous unit? Yeah, this really is the height of the spectrum for homes that I've staged because it's a perfect template and backdrop for any designer, any stager. The finishes are exquisite in this home. Um, the hardwood floors are beautiful. They're a dark wood, so they show beautifully against the light walls or any light furniture. Um, the wood cabinetry, there's zebra wood. Uh, in the bathrooms, there's beautiful wood and finishes. Um, gorgeous marble that's in the master suite. Um, so I just really wanted to let the architecture and the finishes and the way this um, condo is staged high on the 25th floor above Denver, I just really wanted to feature the views. So my job is to accentuate that. I don't want the furniture to become the focal point. I want it to just sort of be an accessory, really. <clears throat> Which is interesting because I noticed you didn't overstage it. The, ba the bedrooms are huge and there'll actually be another video where we show you the whole condo. But I noticed that you didn't have a lot of furniture in it and immediately as you walk into the bedroom, you're drawn outside the window, just very much as we are here, which you probably can't see. But it is the same idea. The furniture is low so that the views become the attraction of the unit, but it does feel very, very cozy. Yeah. Yeah, I did, and you know, my background is also, um, I used to sell mid-century modern furniture, so I love mid-century modern furniture, and we've got some Barcelona chairs behind us. Those chairs will go in any setting, whether you want to do something retro or something very classy uh, or classical for even high-end, you know, offices of a bank president or anything. So I've got a lot of mid-century modern classic pieces scattered throughout. Um, the end tables in the in both of the bedrooms and just some pieces here and there. So yeah, it, they, they really <laughs> shine. I love them working uh, as we, as I walked in. What? How important do you think is scale in with furniture in a in a space? How do you look at that? It's really important. Um, if you have the wrong size furniture, it can just uh, that's all you see. You bump into it. 
uh, one thing that I, is very important to me as a realtor, when I'm staging a property, I'm thinking about the first time a buyer walks through and they don't want to bump into furniture. You want them to walk in and just be wowed by the space. So when you walk into this property, this condo, they're not going to run into a dining room table or the back of a sofa. Mm. You know, they're oh, going good point. to right. I've tripped on one of those before. <laughs> <laughs> so we want them to see the windows behind us and the views and um, the outdoor patio is amazing. So scale is super, super yes. important. Well, and then there's another piece to that, right? It doesn't just have to look good in person, but there have to be great shots for a magazine, right? Yes. For the photography. Like we always want to have the one, we call it the money shot, right? That we can use for the cover of the brochures or into it in the magazines. Do you have that in mind when you walk through and go, you know, this would be a great cover or how, how do you think about that? I I guess that is part of the whole thing because I want a photographer to get some great shots for the MLS, but what handicaps me a little bit is I never know what the photographer is going to feature, oh. you know, so you get different photographers. So yes. you, part of my, I guess, bailiwick, you'd say, mm -hmm. um, I always use a lot of textures and finishes. So we have high shine of a dining room table today, a matte finish on the coffee table. I've got the texture of pillows and a really soft sofa. Um, the rug that is underneath oh, us fabulous, has different textures and different heights to it. So it adds, there's a lot of texture in the space too. The, the fireplace wall has all this texture to it. So I just like to play off that and natural elements, <clears throat> excuse me, just people are drawn to that. It's mm -hmm. nature yeah. and it's bringing nature in. So I happen to have an antler um, on the coffee table behind <laughs> I them. noticed that. I thought that's a long way from where you would find one of those. Right, but. right. Um, Although we're in Colorado. That's too. true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't so much think about the money shot as um, what finishes and colors are going in. Are going in. And it, it, there's definitely a feel to this. And, and uh, I'm just thrilled how this came up. So, well, thanks for that today, a little yes. insight. I know people yes. always wonder what's the magic behind staging, works, and yeah. you certainly have it. Oh. So if you guys ever have any questions on <laughs> staging or you need a stager, Lisa's on our team. This comes with our package. This is what we do for our clients and we'd love to do it for you. Thanks so much. Thanks.